now uh, i'll show you execution on two real devices right these are uh, like the parallel execution uh, earlier we have seen on uh, one real device and one emulator but this time uh, we will be uh, seeing the same example on two real devices right so this is uh, my first device and this is uh, samsung galaxy note 3 and this is uh, the second device uh, like there is a, some lag in the second device because uh, it is not connected through Wi-Fi it is uh, connected uh, through some other utility that is Android screencast right I'll be explaining you how we can configure all these things now I'll show you the same test that we have executed earlier and I'll show you uh, whether they are parallelly being executed or not right so what I'll do uh, like uh, when I run this testng.xml and you'll notice over here uh, I'll just open up this and within few seconds you'll see that both the applications will be launched see on the second one it's already been launched but uh, the device is a bit slow so that is the reason it's uh, showing it a bit slow right I can prove you this thing that uh, both of them uh, were launched at the same time what I've done, I have actually uh, done some system out uh, print in both of the tests. And over here, if you notice, executing test one and test two is printing at the same time, right? So if I'll I'll go over here, uh, this is one of my tests in which I have uh, written executing test two. In my second test, uh, uh, in my first test, I've written executing test one. In the second one, I've written executing test two. So if I uh, run this now again you're gonna see uh, both things will gonna print at the same time so you'll come to know that these are executing parallelly not sequentially see both of them are printed and if you see over here uh, both the applications are being opened at the same time so this is what parallel execution is so we'll be talking about all the configuration in our next lecture so I'll be showing you how we can configure all these things. All right.